Hi, this is Brian Trulin with the Quarterback Film Room. We're going to be talking about roster overviews today. Um, so beginning in May, with a premium pass service, we provide you roster overviews for every single club in the National Football League. So today we're starting in the NFC East. That's, that's going to be our first division. And we're going to discuss the Washington Redskins. So everyone knows that Alex Smith was signed by Bruce Allen, okay, uh, beginning in January of 2018. And the Redskins signed Smith to a pretty large contract. Okay, so there was a lot of guaranteed money in years one, two, and three. We all know that Smith got hurt in the November contest last year uh, for the Redskins with that gruesome leg injury. So he's out uh, for the foreseeable future. He's, he's going to most likely end up on IR throughout 2019, and then the team will reevaluate his status moving forward um, for the 2020 season. So Smith is on the shelf. Case Keenum was traded from the Denver Broncos um, over from John Elway as the Broncos had a new coaching staff coming in, a change. They brought in Joe Flacco, shipped Keenum to Washington, where in theory it looks like a situation where he could compete for a starting job with Colt McCoy at first. And then obviously now the team drafted Dwayne Haskins. So Keenum has $3.5 million guaranteed from the Redskins. He's being paid $4 million from the Broncos. In theory, it should be an opportunity for him to hopefully seize or at least have an opportunity to seize the starting job. We don't know how it's going to play out. I could see a situation where Keenum starts the year as the Redskins starting quarterback. But with Colt McCoy being in Jay Gruden's system for you know four or five years now, knows Jay Gruden's system like the back of his hand, Daniel Snyder hand-selected Dwayne Haskins at pick number 15 in round one. So there's two other quarterbacks who are going to be on the or, you know on the back of Keenum if he does begin the year as the starting quarterback. And frankly, I don't know if Keenum can withstand that type of mental pressure behind him. Um, when Keenum was with the Vikings, 2017, the magical season, it was it was him and only him. Teddy Bridgewater obviously had a gruesome knee injury the year prior, and he was rehabilitating his. Um, himself to come back in 2017. Sam Bradford was obviously hurt. So it was basically Case Keenum and nobody else. Uh, Keenum, I don't think he can withstand that pressure on his heels. Um, and then obviously Dwayne Haskins, whom the Redskins drafted at pick 15, started one year in college for Ohio State, but it looks like Daniel Snyder all, is all in on Haskins, as is Bruce Allen. So fans will be clamoring to see him. Um, you will want to monitor Haskins' performance and development, particularly in training camp and during the preseason, because that could be a key indicator in terms of, is he going to be ready to play early? Will he receive an opportunity to play early? Um, if he shows well in the preseason, the answer to that most likely will be yes. Um, so just monitor that situation. And the team also brought in fourth-year pro Josh Woodrum, who played college football at Liberty University um, in Roanoke, Virginia, so near the Redskins campus. They're going to bring him in as an extra arm here for OTAs into minicamp and then most likely into training camp. So Josh Woodrum spent some time in the UFL for Salt Lake City earlier this year. Obviously, that league full, but now he's receiving another opportunity in Washington. Woodrum, a talented thrower of the football, okay, a really talented thrower, um, and he could surprise people in camp. So monitor his situation as well. Um, in terms of him making the roster, I mean, it, I mean, it may be a long shot, but depending upon how well he plays in the preseason, I could see a situation where maybe he sneaks on the roster because if they cut him, somebody else will most likely pick him up. So that's an overview on the Washington Redskins, a roster overview on the Washington Redskins quarterback room entering mini camp here in 2019.